हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू दी रचना शारीरा लेक्चर सीरीज आज हम पढ़ेंगे स्नायु शारीरा कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्नायु एंड इट्स क्लिनिकल इंपॉर्टेंस सो इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ स्नायु स्नायु परिभाषा स्नायु इति शनाकार उपधातु विशेष टोल बाय आचार्य डलहना डलहना डिफाइन स्नायु एज अ शनाकार शेप ऑफ जूट यूज फॉर बाइंडिंग बोस एज बो स्ट्रिंग एंड स्नायु इज अ उपधातु ऑफ मेद धातु ठीक है बॉडी विच आर हियर टू बाइंड दि मंस अस्थि एंड मेद स्नायो बंधन प्रोक्त देहे मंस अस्थि मेत साम सो दि आर द बाइंडिंग मेटीरियल इन द बॉडी टू बाइंड मंस अस्थि एंड मेद नाउ लेट सी स्नायु उत्पत्ति द वर्ड स्नायु इज फॉर्म फ्रॉम स्ना प्रत्यय एंड अण धातु मेद स्नेह मादय शिरा स्नायुत्व मनुयात During development process, the essence part that is sara of meidas undergoes the metabolic process that is paka forms sira and snayu. Okay, in garbha during the development process, the essence part that is sara of meidas undergoes a metabolic process known as paka. Okay, and which then forms the mrudu paka forms sira and khara paka forms snayu. Okay, snayu sankhya the number of snayu total number of snayu total are nine hundred. Okay. The shaka shita are six hundred, madhya sharira are two thirty, and udho jatugata are seventy. Udho jatugata also known as grivo pari, मतलब clavical, the upper part of clavicle are known as udho jatugata, also known as grivo pari, which are seventy total nine hundred. Okay, these nine hundred snayus are distributed as in shaka, which are extremities. There are four shaka, right? So in in each shaka. There are 150 snayus. 150 into 4, 600. So total 600 are present, snayus are present in shaka and mad and madhya sharira, which are thorax, abdomen, and pelvis, include kati 60, prastha 80, parshva 60, and in vakshas 30. So, so total 230 snayus are present in madhya sharira. In urdhva jatugata or grivo pari head and neck region. In Griva, that is neck region, 36 snayus are present, and Shiras, the head region, 34 snayus are present. Total, there are 70 snayus are present in Urdhva Jatrugata. So, like this, the distribution of snayus has been taken place. Now, important one, snayu prakara, types of snayu. Snayu Chaturvidha, Pratanavatyo, Vrittascha, Vrittavyascha, Sushirastatha. Sushita Sharira, fifth chapter. स्नायु चतुर्विद फोर टाइप्स ऑफ स्नायु विच आर पतानवती वृत्त ऋतुला एंड सुशीर नो लेट डिस्कस वन बाय वन फर्स्ट इज प्रतानवती स्नायु ऑल्सो नोन एज लिगामेंट्स प्रतानवती स्नायु आर लॉन्ग लाइक प्रताना प्रताना मीन्स लॉन्ग लिगामेंट प्रेजेंट इन द एक्सट्रीमिटीज एंड जॉइंट्स ऑफ द बोन मतलब प्रतानवत्या शाखासु सर्वसंदेश चाप्यत शाखासु सर्वसंदेश प्रतानवती स्नायु विद लॉन्ग लिगामेंट स्नायु Structures present in shaka and sarvasandeshu. The sthana of pratanavati snayu is shaka and sarvasandeshu in extremities and all the joints. Second is second is vritta snayu who tendons. Vritta snayu are circular in shape, can be related to tendons. Okay, vritta itself means circular or round. Okay, vritta asthu who kandaraha sarva vigneya ha kushalaireha means. The sthan of Rutta Snayu is Kandara. Okay, the Kushal Vedya, the good physician, should understand that Rutta Snayu is Kandara, or consider that Rutta Snayu as only the Kandara. Prithala Snayu, flat tendons. Prithu itself means flat. Okay, Prithu Snayu are flattened or ribbon-shaped tendons. Okay, Parshurasi tatha prasthe Prithu lascha shirasascha means the sthan of Rutta Snayu are. Parsha, Prista, Ura, and Shira. Parsha means lateral parts of trunk. Prista back, Ura chest, and Shira head region. In these areas, Prita snayu is present, which are flat in nature. Ash four, that is Shushira snayu. 
Shushira snayu are present in the cavity spaces of viscera. Shushira itself means a hollow cavity or any space. Okay, so Shushira means space. Any space region or any viscera which is empty inside, in that region we can assume that Shushira snayu are present. Okay, ama pakva shaya santeshu basti cha Shushira ha khaluhu. Amashe, Pakwasha and Basti are the stana for Shushira Snayu. Now, Snayu Kareha, functions of Snayu. Nauryatha, Falakastirnaha, Bandhanair, Bahubiryuta, Bharakshama, Bhaviddapstu, Nuyakta, Susamahitaha. Eva meva, Shirasmin, Yavantaha, Sandeya Srutaha, Snayur bi, Bhubi Buddhas, Tena, Bharasaha, Naraha. Means, Nauryatha, Falakastirnaha, Bandhanair, Bahu. Biruta. Matlab, this is Nauryata means Nauka. Nauka means nothing but a boat. How the boat is built with the wooden, wooden planks or wooden or wood and which are tied. Bandhanair Bhur Biruta. Tied nicely or tied side by side by placing side by side of wooden layers. A boat is made. How it is capable of carrying weight in the water. Bharakshama Bhavidapsu Nuyuktaha. Susamahitaha, how it is capable of carrying the weight in the water? Like that only, Eva Meva Shirasmin, Eva Meva Shirasmin, like that only, human body, Yavanta Sandeya Sutaha, the joints are tied. Snayu bhi, Bahu bhi, Baddhastena, Bharasana raha, like that only, Snayu present between the joints and fasten tightly so that it can carry the whole bhara bhara saha capable of carrying whole bhara of the body and helps in the movement okay so means just as a boat built with the wooden planks lay side by side when the fastened tightly by ropes in many ways become capable of carrying weight in the water okay steered by the boatman okay similarly the human body will be able to carry weight so as long as joints are fastened tightly by the ligaments here ligaments are nothing but snayu in many ways okay this is the explanation of uh, abos locus which i have discussed earlier okay now snayu mahatva the importance of snayu okay no hastini no va pesho no sira no cha sandeha no hastini no va pesho no sira no cha sandeha vyapadita sthata hanyur sthata snayu hu sharinam means Neither Asti, nor Peshi, nor Sira, nor the Sandhi does not, does not inflict or does not cause any harm to the person as that of the injured Snayu, the injured ligament causes. Vyapadistata, Hanyuryatha, Snayu Sharanam. Okay, there is a meaning. Dha Snayu, Pravijanati, Bhayascha Bhintarastata, Sargudam Shalya, Maratum, Dehaschaknoti, Dehina. Okay, therefore, when uh, the physician or one who has actual knowledge of Bhaya and Abhyantara Snayu is capable of extracting Gura deeply present Shalya that is any external particle or any weapon or any foreign body can be extracted from the body Dehachakmati Dehinam okay Therefore, the importance of snayu is very much in case of human body. Okay, the explanation of uh, the uh, Abu Sloka was on the injury to asti, mamsa, sira, and snayu does not inflict the body so as the snayu. So, one should protect the snayu from any injuries. Okay, normal any injury here not, is nothing but uh, any sprain, ligamentous sprain. Okay, in the body. Okay, therefore, one who has the knowledge of external and internal snayu is capable of extracting the deeply suited shalya from the body. As we have discussed in the sloka as Guda Shalyam Maratam Dihashtaknati Dehinam. Now, the clinical importance of snayu there is ligament. Ligaments are often often the connection between two bones. Okay, this is the connection between two bones is known ligament, particularly in the joints. Like strong, firmly attached straps or ropes, they stabilize the joints or hold the ends of the bones together. These are the ligaments. Let us discuss some of the clinical aspects of the ligaments. Uh, here, a tennis elbow. Okay, it is a phenomenon or uh, it is uh, some kind of a <coughs> condition in which uh, the overuse of muscles and tendons of elbow causes tennis elbow. Okay, let's discuss it. Uh, it is also known as lateral epicondylitis. Actually, here lateral epicondylitis is involved. So, known as lateral epicondylitis is a condition that results from the overuse of muscles or tendons of the elbow. Okay, lateral ligaments, lateral ligaments, annular ligaments and medial collateral ligaments. These are important 
okay ligaments which have been affected due to the uh, due to, uh, of this condition okay lateral ligament annular ligament and medial epicondyl ligament provide support the elbow joint and prevent the forearm from the moving forward so when these ligaments are being affected or injured this causes the tennis elbow okay mainly lateral ligament and medial collateral ligament of the elbow joint and next is ankle joint the ankle ligaments are important because they help keep the ankle stable and strong and prevent it from moving in unnatural ways okay they also help in weight bearing shock absorption when your foot hits the ground there are three main sets of ligament in the ankle okay which are medial ligament lateral ligament and uh, syndesmotic ligaments okay now injury in the knee joint in the knee has a maximum number of ligaments which are four pairs okay let's discuss the knee has a four major uh, ligaments that connect the thigh bone to the shin bone and provide stability and strength to the joint four main ligaments of uh, knee joint are anterior cruciate ligament posterior cruciate ligament medial collateral ligament lateral collateral ligament okay the lig ligament injuries are also called as sprains okay which i have told earlier snayu so injury is nothing but a sprain okay sprain is mainly caused due to the ligamentous injury okay can occur when the ligament is stretched too far or forced to move in the wrong direction okay this is the clinical aspect of the snayu and ligament